Zozo Hard Production. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel by clicking bell icon. Hello, today's our topic is NDT, which means non-destructive testing. Non-destructive testing of concrete is a method to obtain the compressive strength and other properties of concrete from the existing structures. This test provides immediate results and actual strength and properties of concrete structure. Methods of non-destructive testing of concrete Rebound hammer method Penetration method Pull-out test method Ultrasonic pulse velocity method Radioactive methods Today we are going to study on rebound hammer test. It is called as plunger. It is called as plunger. And you can say it is a breaking pin is going to be provided. See, you require to apply some load on it. See, if I want to find this is a surface where I require to find the strength of the concrete. To find the strength of the concrete, I require to cast the cube. Then after casting the cube, I require to place in the compressive testing machine. After placing in the compressive testing machine, then the value of the compressive strength I am going to get. Is it not? But what happened there? We are going to destructing the material. But here we should not have to disturb the material because it is already it has been constructed. I want to construct a, another G plus uh, 4 storey or G plus 5 storey building. Therefore I require to know the strength of this concrete. Then only strength of the concrete or whatever the reinforcement is are there, then only we can able to know. Then after, after knowing the strength of the concrete only we can able to suggest that whether we can able to construct it or not. Okay. Then for here it is a surface. On the surface I require to find the strength. Therefore here there will be a plunger will be there. By using the plunger here what happened? Back side there will be a spring will be there. Whenever you are going to apply the load, you should apply slowly. You should not, it should not be faster. If you are going to apply faster, then the spring will be damaged and whatever the value you are going to get, the values are wrong. Okay, what I am going to do, I am going to find the strength of the concrete. What you see here, it is a surface, I am going to apply a load. The load should not be more excess, it should not be excess of the load. See, uh, if I want to find the strength of the slab, I am going to apply in this manner. Okay. This position is called plus 90 degrees. Plus 90 degrees. If I am going to apply the load in this manner, what happens if I am going to apply in this manner, the uh, gravity will be the downwards. Okay, bottom part will really is going to push backwards. If I am going to apply in this manner, the bottom part, again, gravity will be this way. Then minus 90 degrees. It is called as plus 90 degrees. It is called as minus, minus 90, 90 degrees. degrees. Sometimes what happens if there is any cross element it is there, I require to find the strength. Means I am I'm going to apply in, in this manner. Therefore, this is called as plus 45. 45. Plus or minus? Plus 45. Then it is minus. minus In this manner, I require to find the strength of the concrete. See here, I am going to apply a load. Whenever I am going to apply a load, it is 0 degrees. It is 0 degrees. I am going to find the strength of this element. 0. See here. Sound. Sound as in If I am going to relieve, it can't, the reading can't be noted. Release. Just normally if I am going to apply the load and releasing it, the readings can't be noted. Therefore, there will be a pin will be there. You should have to press it. Whenever the sound comes, you should have to press it. Okay? See here. Okay? 30. Means 32. 32. 32 is the reading. Uh, see, the, there will be a graph will be there here. You can see this is graph. On this graph, where is 32? It is 32. 32. The angle is zero. You can see plus 90 degrees, plus 45 degrees, zero degrees. Again, minus 45 degrees, minus 90 degrees. Okay? Here it is the zero degree graph. The reading is 32. 32, wherever the 32 reading is going to be coincide on this graph, it is here. Then the strength of the concrete that we are going to take, the strength of the concrete is around 22. 22 newtons per mm square is the strength of this concrete. concrete. But uh, whatever, how we are going to get the strength by using this machine, but sometimes what happens, if the constants are imperfect in this machine, then the values are not going to get perfect. Now, by using this machine, we are going to find the strength of this beam element or column element. It is called as rebound, rebound hammer. hammer. It is NDT test we are going to say. Okay. If there are graphs are there, by using this graph, Whatever the reading we are going to get, we should, we should have to see this graph reading, then plus it is plus, plus 90 degrees or minus, depending on the positions of applying the load. Yes. According to that, wherever it is going to coincide on this graph, that reading we require to be 
Note it. If it is going to be constant of 45 means 0 means strength will be around 45. In this manner, we are going to find the strength of the compound. It is called as rebound amalgamation.